My friends, welcome. Good to be with you. Happy Easter. Easter joy today. As St. Augustine said, we are an Easter people and Alleluia is our song. And how good it is to be here with you coming from the St. Rita Shrine in Chicago. And let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you have given us, especially today, the joy of your resurrection. Be with us all, pray for all those in our prayer list, for all the intentions of our hearts, and in a special way we pray today for anyone who has no one to pray for them. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and he believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. They saw and they believed. Friends, how are we seeing and believing on this Easter morning? How are we understanding that Jesus has risen from the dead? How are we not understanding everything that happens in our lives, but understanding the one thing that is the center of our lives, and that is Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ suffered, died, and rose, and that's what we celebrate today. That's why we're Christians. We're called to be another Christ. But the people in this story, imagine at first them seeing the empty tomb. And when Mary Magdala saw it, she thought they, they, they stole the body. Remember how they were already in grief. And imagine how they felt to see that Jesus was gone. His body was stolen. Because remember, they did not yet understand that he had to rise from the dead. Remember the people in the scriptures are living the scriptures. You and I know how they go. You and I know how they turn out. They were living it. But imagine those feelings they had of excitement. They were running, they were out of breath, and there's nothing there. But then they said, they started to understand a little bit, and they understood, and they saw, and they believed. And so friends, St. Augustine said, we are an Easter people, and Alleluia is our song, which means we just don't celebrate Easter one day of the year. We celebrate, of course, the octave of Easter, which is eight days, the next eight days, but we should celebrate Easter every single day of our lives because we are an Easter people, and Alleluia is our song. And we should sing that Alleluia out in all that we do to show others that Jesus is Lord. And in the ups and the downs of life, which we all have, we have sorrows, we have struggles, we have questions, we have joys. We're bored at times. But in all of those moments, keep Jesus as your center. Keep Jesus, the risen one, as the one who was always there for us. And so that's why we celebrate this great solemnity of Easter for eight days. For eight days, we celebrate Easter joy. And then we continue into the, through the Easter season because this is the culmination of everything, of why Jesus came. And whenever you look at the cross, always know you're looking at a love letter, a love letter from Jesus himself, who shows us the way by the way he loved us. And he challenges us all to love. That's what this is all about, to love Jesus, to love God the Father, to love the Holy Spirit, and to love one another. It's all about love. Gandhi, who was not a Christian, said, if you Christians actually lived what you professed, you would change the world. And what do we profess? That we love God and we love God, our neighbor as ourselves. The greatest of the commandments. Jesus himself told us that. 
And so, friends, as we are today celebrating, maybe you're going to celebrate with family, with friends. Maybe you're going to celebrate by being on, on the Internet with people, looking through FaceTime with people because you can't be with them. Or whether you're maybe going to pick up the phone and talk to a loved one. Let us know the first one who loved us is the one who saved us, and that is Jesus Christ, God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. Friends, we are never alone. We are always with God. God is always with us. And hopefully this Easter joy, this Easter resurrection, will be something that we celebrate and live out each and every day of our lives. So friends, how good it is, how good it is that we are together on this wonderful, wonderful day. And I hope and pray that we will all have a great Easter season. And remember, it goes on for 50 days. Celebrate it well. And I hope if you gave up chocolate, I hope you're going to eat a lot of it today. But if you gave up swearing, I hope you're going to keep on not doing it. God bless us all. And I hope and pray that I will see you this Thursday at the St. Rita Novena at 7 p.m., whether you can join us live at the Shrine in Chicago on the first Thursday of every month or online with the St. Rita Shrine website in Chicago. So friends, happy Easter. We are an Easter people, and Alleluia is our song. May we sing that Alleluia each and every day of our lives. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. And if you can, like the video, because then that's how we evangelize, how we get the message of Jesus out to more people. So if you can, like the video. God bless. Happy Easter.